Urban Agriculture's Carbon Footprint Revealed. Did you know that a new University of Michigan-led study found that fruits and vegetables grown in urban farms and gardens have a carbon footprint that is, on average, six times greater than conventionally grown produce? This study aimed to fill knowledge gaps by comparing the carbon footprints of food produced at low-tech urban agriculture sites to conventional crops. Surprisingly, the study revealed that a few city-grown crops equaled or outperformed conventional agriculture under certain conditions. For example, tomatoes grown in the soil of open-air urban plots had a lower carbon intensity than tomatoes grown in conventional greenhouses. Inputs to the urban agriculture sites fell into three main categories. Infrastructure, such as the raised beds in which food is grown, or pathways between plots, supplies, including compost, and irrigation water. The study's co-lead author, Jason Hawes, suggests that urban agriculture practitioners can reduce their climate impacts by cultivating crops that are typically greenhouse grown or air freighted, in addition to making changes in site design and management. Despite the higher carbon footprint, urban agriculture offers a variety of social, nutritional, and place-based environmental benefits, making it an appealing feature of future sustainable cities.